Here it is. Lloyd is pointing to something over there. So, I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's telling me to get to work. So, time to get to work. Oh, there we go. So, what happened here? All the drawers are on the table now. They were there. It's all the accessories that we, uh, <laughs> Sorted out a week ago. We finished last a week ago today, up last Thursday. And now my job is to get them all for sale. So I'm gonna go for the hard stuff first. The backpacks need to be more sorted. This needs to be more sorted. So that's my first two. Tools need to be more sorted. And I'll do that one for sure. Oh man, bars. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That's not a Lego bar. Um. So there's a lot here. And then I don't know about the friends, probably won't be done today because I have another drawer of them and other things. Um, I'm trying to look at the hardest ones first. So let me, let me, yeah, let me just get them out. I want to get these knocked out. So then after that, grab one, sort, list. And these are, these are a bunch of different varieties and lengths, but that's not too bad. They're pretty simple to find and pull up. <clears throat> so. Obviously, I gotta inspect them for damage, things like that. So, before I do that, there was one thing I want to do. Oh, this is a fantasy era castle little set that I got from Bricklink when I was buying a, another set. I'm gonna park that out real quick to add those parts. We rec recruited a mighty helper. It's gonna get this done. Hopefully, some Lego sets are coming today. I gotta check. I think they are. The Jeeps are gonna be parted out today. All the friends have been sorted. All the accessories very nicely. Some are, uh, I'll have to check some things, but then this is the leftover pile of food or random other things like, um, I think I already did cameras, but that's okay. If I already did, if I already put some of the stuff for sale that it's in this pile, I'm just gonna throw it back in with all, I don't know, the friend stuff, I don't know. But anyway. Have, excited about that and then uh, while that was happening I got all the face shield things done so these are going up right now tools now sorted I just got called upstairs for some pie so at 1 30 two more hours of work fresh blueberry pie yum I feel like I'm not making much progress <laughs> but all my sorting jobs are done so, time is it? 1.40. I'm going to go for strong for one hour and 50 minutes. See what we can get. What are we at for lots? We've added 53 today, actually. So that's pretty good. Um, four in dark bluish gray. Bunch in dark gray. The price guide for dark bluish gray. That's the average they sell for. Well, we found, I think, the best one we're going to find out of everything here. So these are the old dark gray. Those three are dark bluish where you can see the difference in the color. Here's the average price for them that actually sell for that. Ten dollars each. That just means that for whatever that is nuts. It comes in the 2005 Darth Vader transformation. That's it. Well, some other educational set which was probably not sold very much either. And 40, 40 minutes later, all the tools are for sale. I like how to have them. Now I'm moving on to the friends that got sorted today. If you know that these parts come in a pack, um, like this one, you can go to the, the listing of the pack and I just open a new tab in each one. Over here, and now, now we're here. And I went and grabbed all nine that would come in that pack and I'm gonna go one by one from the top down. That's what I just did with the tools because they all come in multi packs or all, no, yeah, all of them did. Um, I added a few before I started doing that, but, but this is the fastest way you got everything pulled up in front of you and just keep going. All right, it's about 3:30. I'm packing it in for the day. Got to run to the post office and check the PO box and get some mail taken. 261, 10,700 lots we made it to, and 
to the 166 is the final that we got to. So I gotta go to brickpacker.com and sync this with Brick Owl. 5.30 on a Friday, June 18th. 29 items on eBay. Eight items on Bricklink here. And it's only 59 lots. But a good dollar amount there. Um, I sold a set and a base plate, which is a $25 base plate. So that's nice. And then Brick Owl has four orders. So pretty easy morning. I got parts on the table. I'm happy about that. Get those uploaded. Here's the big base plate I sold. So I'm going to use one of my $3.50 boxes I paid for for the big sets that I only end up selling two of them. The rest were parted out. So three of them out of, yeah, two of them. I sold the TIE Fighter as well. Um, so I'm going to cut. I'm going to use this somehow. I think it's, well, I'll use a, I'll use a couple flaps, but because it's not even big enough to fit the whole thing. So we'll secure it. And there's like, I don't know, seven or eight minifig parts with that. Sold some screwdrivers and other things. This order uh, is five lots, 49 items for $58. It's crazy. That is not very many parts. At least tiny things. The screwdrivers are a good amount. This is 26 bucks. This is 11 bucks and the rest of the screwdriver price. Here's an order for a viewer of the channel. No note, but another Bricklink seller. Their uh, 11th order in my store. Thank you. All right, I got a note. Greetings from Green Bay. <laughs> from Green Bay, Green Bay Brick Hero. So we used to just be Green Bay Lego. It used to be. Bought all my trees. Completed some figures. So awesome. He says he has got to watch my stuff. So. <laughs> We'll see you at Bay Beach if you're watching. June, uh, July 10th and 11th, Bay Beach Amusement Park in Green Bay. Just me and him will be selling Lego there. And uh, it's going to be an amazing time. Lots of Lego displays. And if you're keeping track, that is now every single tree except the tiny ones I've sold that I put for sale. The smaller little pine trees. But uh, all the other three versions are all gone. Sold this set, I already packed it up into, into there in a box. Um, 44 bucks, I think I paid around 18 to 20 for it about 18 months ago. And I took it to every sale that I had because I had 35 on it and could never sell it. So I'm like, I'll just throw it up here. It's a very small set. And it sold. So the base plate is secured in here so it can't come out on any sides. And then I have. I don't know, these two pieces that I'm going to tape somehow like that and it's it's very sturdy, not very bendable. I mean it can give a little give but you got to really put some force on it to bend that thing. Alright and there was eight other, too many figs and eight other parts in here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, made it, I made it as long as skinny as possible and kind of secure that in there with bubble wrap and it'll stick up a little um, but that's okay I won't tape it too hard on that end I will tape right here I'm gonna have this these I got two of these big poly mailers I'm gonna somehow wrap around this whole thing that's what I'm gonna do I just slit these two bags in the side and we'll see if we can get it uh, one thing um, you could use is a pizza box didn't have one I would have got pizza last night if I didn't own finished product I had to get a third poly mailer but it looks looks great. And then I just put some uh, labels on here. Make sure people know. And the same on this one. Do not bend. Do not bend. Do not bend. I like stamping. Do not bend. There we go. Alright, time to add parts to the store. I think it's around 5,000 eight sets and there was like almost 600 each set but there's you know a lot of little things um, so I have my laptop here with our, where I'll be entering the numbers and then on here my tablet that I pull orders with I'll be at the next screen where I can see what drawers the parts I already have are in 
so I can just grab it and take it. So it's saying I'm going to have 18 now. There's 16 in this set of that in 24, 25. The first thing I would do is actually organize that color because it's alphabetical, so black comes up first. So I'm going to go ahead and try to grab all the black, move it close to me. Um, and I'll do this. I'll just find this one and then. Was it 24, 25? Is that what it was? And there's the other two. And these will securely fit in here just fine so you know off the move drawers that sometimes probably in this set um, if there was um, triple that amount it wouldn't have fit I probably would have moved the drawer to a full one so um, getting through the black almost done here uh, actually one two more parts and as I forgot I'd like to check this this to kind of get an idea of what we're adding 64 new lots I do not have in my store from this set out of 109 so that is stellar uh, right there that's that's why I like to do the Technic um, you know I got it for 40 each so 87 is the actual average sales that's what I'll list it for and then so I'll get down to 80 so I'll double and that's fine with me with Technic I don't care it is uh, double is good so this is the part that you absolutely need these big shoe boxes for I would never I think I could run a store without having something like this, but I just don't like the system. It's just harder to find things. I mean, it's, it's just, it's not hard to find things. It takes more time than pulling open a drawer. You gotta go and pull out the thing, open it up, dig through stuff, but it's the nature of some of these things. In the SP35, this is my last one I have. I have room in other ones, but, um, I might go through and lower some prices on some of them, some of the parts and some of them to clear some out in the future. Alright, that's it. Just waiting for it to load. And this is a lot of the new stuff. A lot of it was just full drawers. So lots of yellow. Mostly all the yellow is, is not in my store. I think like three of the lots were in my store. And then there's more. These are these are other things that were already in my store. So, these are just the smaller sections added like that. Added the hat, that, 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 yellow. One white part. So awesome. Let's see what we got here. So 40 times 8 is 320 bucks plus tax is what I paid for all this. So, and then take off 20, 160 off of that. So that will get, we'll get about 700 minus all the shipping charges fees so when i say that kind of stuff you get there's a lot that goes into it minus that's like another 20 some percent after that is what actually you get so it's a business right 5384 items i love it it's been a while since i had it something like that 10732 i love that number i love 266718 i gotta get to my desk and build some minifigs Friday 1019 we are heading to Lake Michigan high of 88 and sunshiny here we go Saturday morning at the beach I did some shopping Paid quite a bit for that pile 45 pound lot of minifigure accessories and figure body parts and items and more Wow anyway go brick link uh, that bottom one is that big base plate I had didn't ship it the first day. I'm shipping it today. I'm gonna drop it off the post office. It's quite big. So we have four, four to ship. Four lots, seven lots, three lots, one lot. Easy. Brick all is 62 lots here, and eBay is 30. Final order of the morning. It's an easy one. Ten of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My first goal here after shipping, just to finish this up and then maybe build, rebuild some eBay stuff. I did get one Brooklink order from Thailand, which is actually 250 some bucks, so it's a good one too. Boom, success. It's 908 a.m. here Saturday morning 
uh, this is how I store them. I put some over here. Uh, if I felt like I didn't want to add more to some of these that might look similar. I try not to put any, you know, two flowers in one or two hair bows in one. Try to keep all different parts in different colors if I can. You know, like there's some dark purple hair things, dark purple flowers. There's a couple where there's two of the same color, but they are very different parts if I did do that. Um, well, actually there's three in there, but there's a star, a bow, and hair hair dryer, so nothing crazy. You get pictures when you pull order, so you can see what you're getting. So I think I had it a ton. I checked halfway through, and I was at like 70, not half, it was probably over halfway through, 70 new lots, 108 new lots I just did in like 30 minutes. It's pretty good. Boom. I just packed all the parts in here. And I bought a bunch of minifigs that were a pretty good deal for what I want to pay for them. So, got some friends. Um, why can't I think of the name of that one? Is that. It's Cole Air Jitsu. It's like an orange. There's not an orange one. Who is it? But it's Cole. Um, so yeah. Got a mask in there. Oh, I bought three each of the Evil Lloyd he helmets and the armor, whatever that is. So, you know what that means. Those are the two pieces that are expensive. And I have a drawer with legs. Um, torsos and heads. Just started the purge. Is it the purge? Of all these boxes. I'm going to move them out of here <laughs> sometime this weekend or maybe next week. But I took three basketball ones and photographed them and added some cards as well. And I'm going to put these up this week. Try to do this once a day. Uh, at least once, uh, well, until they sell. But I do the baseball and the football. Is there hockey? I thought there was hockey. Oh, yeah. There's a couple hockey ones here. So, take care of this mess. Well, I had to run out to get the oil changed in the van, but I had to make an appointment for another day. So I thought I'd check Walmart again. These are on, on clearance, they're 16 bucks. I parted them out at 20 bucks each. So I'm gonna hold on to those for a while. Maybe stack pile some more. Stockpile, stack pile. Get like 25 to 30 possibly in a few months. Don't know. And those are on the top shelf, five bucks each. There's like four more I couldn't even reach. I'm like, that's okay. I'm not sure how many I have over there, but. And then these I missed the first time, I think. Maybe not. I don't remember seeing these on clearance. These are three bucks each. I think I got 21 of them, I think. Um, these were five bucks with two minifigs, Jaber, Jaber Serpentine, so, and those were ten, so, 622 pieces, lots of little dots, <laughs> great, oh, and these were ten bucks, I got two of these, um, there some, I guess, construct figures, but I see people buying these, so I don't know if they'll be worth anything, but I used to have these toys when I was young, and I thought, this is a pretty cool little set. Working on cleaning up a little bit. <laughs> this is all the damaged stuff. I'm gonna put that in a lot at some point next week. I this all this stuff was on this shelf and that shelf, and those are boxes that were right here that are for sale right now. Um, so everything in, on this shelf here is for sale. Get that there. This is for sale. This this stuff is not for sale up here. Dragons. It's kind of storing them right there for some reason but anyway not for sale I cleared this off pretty well this is where I throw the damage stuff so I'm gonna keep this here as I get piles of damaged stuff and I usually use that as a backup um, this is kind of single thing here single things I try to throw up there if I can or stuff I don't really plan on parting out at this point um, I think I was going to, oh yeah, at least they're going to be parted out or, or put for sale. I don't remember what I was going to do. Probably part out, sell the fig. This one I'm going to put a complete new set on Bricklink without a box. 
with these ones. And now, got it pretty cleared, I'm gonna move these new sets here and these new sets here to there. And I found this hiding in the back straggler got left behind. And I had the Acro Mills that I took the drawers out to use for sorting. And I put those in garbage bags, put them up in my garage. And these are just single big sets. And then I got my sorting trays here, the lids of the sorting trays there, two chest sets that at some point I gotta try to complete. Um, which I don't know if that will ever, ever happen. Not sure, this is what I use for photographs. Sometimes a white background. This is a box to the train, which we set up and or try to set up and other stuff, so this is empty. I need to fill this with parts and do like an eBay auction of pieces. Every time I part out a set that I have some of those, I don't want to throw these boxes away. They make a good backdrop for uh, bulk sale of pieces. So now I have room here, pretty much here. This doesn't need to be here. And I have room up here. I moved the sports cards <laughs> better. Uh, I took the baseball boxes and put under the pool table and um, I just I'm gonna get these for sale the basketball ones here and don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do with those I don't plan on listing too much more <laughs> especially not a quantity I'm gonna try to do 1500 cards a week like this out of these three of these boxes like that because they fit perfectly in a medium flat rate box and slowly get rid of those um, see how that goes I guess this doesn't need to be up here this one can be down here somewhere as well I guess I should talk about this. This is all the stuff that's not Lego that I need to get listed for sale. I think I have like four of these different guys, some big ones, some small ones. Just stuff that I purchased even this year and last year um, that I never got for sale. There's a lot of it last year. So I'm gonna do that. I'll do like one, two, three, four. One box a week is my goal. There's Actually there's only three boxes. This is a single thing I'm gonna sell all these together. These Hot Wheels. Uh, characters, uh, superheroes, whatever. So that's my goal. I don't know how it's going to work, but I'll give it my best. Oh, and I have this. I think I paid six bucks for this. It sells for like 40 or 50 bucks, this thing. Oh, I was asked to make some pizza, so second rise is happening there. Someone's making fresh rolls. And uh, so Saturday at five o'clock, uh, so people went out, so I've been sitting here in the kitchen with my laptop doing, <laughs> cleaning up some of the, they call it the death pile. So I went down there and I cleared out one whole box that I talked about I was going to do. So sports cards, Hot Wheels, burlap sack, that thing, MTV t-shirt, pottery, Video game, Batman movie, some old other video games that are just almost should have just donated them. But I had them. I photographed them and they're already some Star Wars books. And then I found these black, is it black series? Yeah, black series figures. I have four of those, which that one's the only one not worth much, but it should make a good $10 on, on the other ones. Oh, there's another Death Tripper one. It's not showing up yet. It just finished, so it's probably just not here yet. That's F5, this thing. Anyway, not there. On to making pizza. Oh, it's Saturday night and somebody wanted to make some money, so uh, I said do this one. 15 Sith Trooper Battle Packs. Uploading now. It's a quick 1300 piece ad. I didn't add any figures. Now I'm going to do that stuff later, but that's updated. Got a Green Bay friend here that sent me a picture on Instagram. You need him? Eight bucks, it says there. I said, definitely. So another dealer that does the shows at the mall, so thank you. That's awesome. And I need a new sword that's not broken. Father's Day barbecue chicken. Basketball, new net, and a ball return. Monday, June 21st. <laughs> Very good on eBay. Some offers I gotta respond to. And 16 on Bricklink. 
Um, not very many lots, which is fine. I like, uh, sometimes I like those Monday mornings. Brick all. Outstanding orders is there's five of them. So it says it's another hundred dollars. There's 79 lots, so I get to work. Before 7 a.m. and I'm on to Bricklink Brick Owl. I'm gonna take a get my first cup of coffee first. That is a large bit of mail ready to go. First Brick Owl order. One lot, one item. I found this last week in my superhero bin for Killer Croc. I'm like, ah, will I ever need it? Maybe, but put it for sale. It's gone. Oh, I took a break from. Uh, <laughs> oops, this got to be three. Why is it only saying one? Uh, to try to order some Lego sets for the Prime thing. Boom. Times two. Here it is. Three of these and I doubled it up. We have two Prime accounts now. <laughs> so these prices are the um, retail prices. But then you go down here and it gives you the lightning deals, discounts. Good stuff. Here's an order. No note on it. Uh, brick link over here that <laughs> I know they watch the channel, so one time they commented um, that they love our fur nugget, our dog. <laughs> so I call her that sometimes now. I love that term. So thank you for the order if you're still watching us. Final order is pulled. And there is everything. And they got one over there. It's a Canadian order, so I have to print the label separately if PayPal doesn't ship them together for some reason, but Yeah All right shipping is almost done. I just got I got the labels and everything is gonna slap them in the envelopes And we have ten, six of these at ten bucks each. I paid for them at Walmart and Look at this number Ten bucks turns into that There's Eleven lots two of those are the instructions and stickers so ten really I'm adding and uh, that is a good thing, and I'm having somebody part it out for me. This is the six sets, all the drawers you need, sorting them out of the yellow tray, and that's all the rest of the parts. Doesn't look too bad, but 3,600 parts is a lot. All right, I'm gonna process these before I rebuild all these sales here. There's are quite a few here that I gotta go through, so. Which is Monday, that's what I do, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Once I get done with that, I feel like great Monday went great. So these, I'm gonna process, whoop, to my convention. Five of those. 10 of the jetpack ones are not as desirable as these ones. They are like the first order helmets. And they're going to my eight, they're gonna be eight dollars or buy one, get one half off. Then, uh, <clears throat> Lego minifigure stand. So, got a big event coming up, Bay Beach, Green Bay, July 10th and 11th. Gotta stock up. All right, I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going through my Bricklink order that I opened over the weekend but didn't do anything with. So, then I'll get to the, the rebuilds after, after this. It doesn't, it looks like a lot. It shouldn't take me too long to process it. Boom. Three. All right. That Bricklink order was very successful. Got some very uh, good minifigs done. And then I have a bunch for photographs and a couple that are still need parts for. And I relisted or I put some stuff in my store for sale. Put a bunch away. So very good order. And we got one more order over the weekend from the Brick Dude. And it's $99 minimum, so it's hard to place an order for most people there, I think. But I came here because he had the Falcon Knight armors, and then I got some black capes. Which is a, it's a pain point for many, I'm sure, capes. <laughs> I think I have one left in here, maybe two. Just regular blacks. But I've got some new ones, they were not bad, $250 a piece. So if you just go there and buy 40 capes, you hit that minimum, and then... If you, need, if you use black capes a lot, it's a good it's a good place to go. If they have any more, I'm not sure. Got some guitar cases for the Series 5 Gangster. Let's see if he's in here. There he is. So he'll be ready to go. 
Uh, these are just extras because I just I just completed those two. Because I usually have just those two for sale, and I got the blue um, things today from that other order I just went through. Scalador. I just saw him. Here he is. Just needed the torso. He'll be done. These are just extras because I just got some from the Sith Troopers. These are just extras. These I don't know if I need or not. And then this is, I think it's an extra. Ooh, it's 2.38 p.m. on Monday. What a day. So this is, usually I'm done with this by like 11 or 12, but I went through Brooklink orders and just kind of took it easy today. There's a number. There's our quantity, 3,619. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so we have, it took me about 15 minutes. It's now 2.52, maybe a few more than that, I'm not sure. Um, so I paid about $3.30 for each set to be parted out for me. So, so with the $10 value of each set I paid for, so I'd say I'm just gonna say 15 bucks a set times six is 90 bucks. 90 bucks out of my pocket. If I factor in the time going to Walmart and back, I was already going there for a different thing. I just happened to check the aisle. So I guess you could add 10 more minutes. So we'll just say for 30 minutes of my time, and it cost me $90. This is how much value we're adding to our store. It's insane. That's a really good part out. It was six times part out for this one at that price. So I know a lot of these are little things that may take a long time to sell. Uh, so I, I did go through and lower some as I was adding them. I lowered them by a penny or two, a lot of them. Um, this one looks like I didn't do it on this one. I'm gonna open this tab and then I'll upload these now and I'm gonna go to the tab it's gonna have, if I refresh it here, it'll jump that number up right away, 637. We're gonna drop this down to 11 cents. And then it's also a percent off, which you haven't noticed this month of June, I was trying something to go 25%. July, I'm gonna try something different. I may try to do coupons and have no sale at all. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna play it, but I'm just trying a few different things these, these summer months to see what I like to do, what I think is good for the store. Um, but let's check. <laughs> that was such a fast part out because there's only 24 lots. And we have 271. We hit 270 again. We're 5,000 away from our record that we hit before. Lots not a record. It was close to 12,000. I don't even, I don't remember if I hit 12,000. I know it was at least 11,800 at one point. I can't remember. If you see the vlog and you remember it, let me know. We got three new lots over here, the three different cupcakes. And then this is new. These are like a dollar forty each. They sell for. That's nice. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this is already in my store. Nine. That was just consolidated to a new drawer. And then ten was the instructions or the stickers. Instructions. We don't keep those. Here stood uh, not a foam ball from a gun from my sons, but two uh, bins that were Duplo 1 and Duplo 2. They're going to go back there. But, um, so I have two of these I got. And I don't do Duplo much. That store I was going to buy, or I may still buy in the future, had a ton of Duplo. And I my thought was I was going to make some spot. I don't want to go on the other side of the room, but if it's Duplo, it's always, always go over there, make some spot over there. Um, on the shelves down there, bins. Or something because it just doesn't fit with my my theme here of regular Lego because um, they're big so anyway for this part out I had these two with these are used parts I put them in bags and I'm just gonna split these up into these two bins for this part out here it's really fast really simple all right so how I'm doing this is I'm only gonna put one two three four pieces in this one and the rest are all going in that one just these ones can be potentially mixed up uh, I don't think any of these rests could be uh, I mean you can, I mean there's this yellow and that yellow it's not not much different but yeah it's just a potential to me me mess up so I'm gonna go back here in this screen and put in the Duplo D U P L O dash zero one as my is it zero one uh, actually zero it's 02. That's my default and I'll change 
I'm going to change these parts and you know, if I make something wrong, I know to look in either of the two bins, it's all there. All right, normally a $30 set, got on for $12 each. Let's part out everything, everything, including the figures, which is just fine for me, and we upload it. Done for the day. I just got to clean up, but it's 3.02. Got to take the Pops Mobile to get the tires rotated, oil changed, and uh, yeah, that's it for today. Early Monday. I like it. Tuesday, June 22nd here. And we got 21 items on eBay. It's not too bad. This is a really good 10 orders on Bricklink. Is, again, I mean, last week was better, but I, I'll take it. 154 lots. Nothing too crazy of an order. I like that. I like big orders too, but some mornings you just feel like taking it easy. Because I got lots to work to do. <laughs> lots of work to do. The brick haul actually was very good today. Uh, 97 bucks in product, it says, plus 23 shipping. was received 41 total lots here, so let's get this done. All right, I'm ready to pull orders. Actually, I already pulled two. Whenever there's one item, one lot, or a minifig, typically, um, as I'm printing the label for the order, I'll just run and grab it. So there's a Dumbledore there and a Black Widow there. Two of the brick owl orders has had one minifig in them, so this is already done pretty much. It's got a bubble wrap and tape, and here's Bricklink. So let's get to work. It's 616. Work for about 45 minutes and head outside for a jog around the block. There we go. It was quite nippy out. <laughs> Little sprinkles, but great running weather. Not bad. It is now. Saving workout. What time does it say? 74, 8. Just one more left. One is 20 lots, the rest are less, I think. So awesome. Here's the splits. 7.30. I did stop and film a hawk for about 10 seconds on that first mile, actually. But then I did sprint for 10 seconds to kind of make up for it. But maybe I'll get that big clip in here. I don't know. $23 order. Why is it so much? Can you spot the expensive stuff? Uploading all those friends accessories was so worth it. I sold a spray bottle and a comb 11 parts 11 lots of order. Maybe those two brought it up to actually this tray was also part of it So three of them For about 12 cents. I made on that one those three parts. It's worth it Bring sales boom all orders ready to go Here we go And then I'm gonna Get working on that I don't know if I showed that, but last night I came down and numbered a few drawers and I sorted the cups by color, telescopes by color, and the uh, walkie-talkies by color. I've seen my those ones. I just didn't have time for it to give it up. Um, but I got 719 here. So I am going to buy, I'm going to buy two more right away, I think today. Um, and see if they'll actually fit to the ground because I may actually go to the ground now <laughs> I just figured it's better than I can store stuff anywhere But I want my flow to work as much as possible without having to expand so it makes sense uh, If not, I can always move them up a tad Not much. I can actually put another board right here to give it a gap and it will fit. I did measure it was very tight if it will or will not fit so But they have these little grooves that they sit on each other so we'll see when they, they arrive, when I order Well, I sold this. I just had a bunch of Hot Wheels Superior cars. 25 bucks best offer I took. And there's the rest of the mail. And heading right to this. Start with the stuff I already sorted, so get that taken care of. And uh, those black walkie-talkies were a pain. They have a different, that's a newer version with a different back. These are the older version, the back. Place an order from the Netherlands. They reached out and offered free shipping because they love the videos. So it's very inspirational. So thank you for the free shipping. And we'll see what we get in a future video, huh? It's like a good store. 100% feedback is always good, or 99 is, is pretty much the same. You always run into some people that can never be happy. 413 orders, 20 fans. Awesome. What did we get? Some good stuff. Well, when all these were together, stacked up, it seemed like it's pretty easy to get this done by lunch. 
I don't know if I'll get it done today. <laughs> the thing is, I have a drawer of these. I'm going to bring over and I'm going to get them, do a bulk, the bulk I can, the best I can to get it all for sale. Um, I don't think I need to go through that drawer of that. Uh, these ones are going to take a little bit. <laughs> um, maybe not, maybe not so bad. I have a couple more of these I might add to this. Spears, I definitely have a big drawer full and I'm going to get those. I guess that's it. So I'm going to do the stuff on my desk first, but I'm going to line up the the rough stuff here. That one, that one. Is that it? Well, this isn't too rough, this one, but it's going to take a little more work. And, oh yeah, this one. Which is fine. They're easy to find. As long as the parts are easy to locate on BrickLink, it, it's not too bad. Just getting them separated. So this one I'll do too. This will be the first ones. Probably that one because I have a drawer I have to grab for that one. And uh, here we go. Learning something new every day. So I separated this one out from these two apparently. This one has a bigger, this is a newer one. So 1996 is the last year they made that one. It's probably for the older ones. So I'm going to actually go through and separate that because I like to have people that look for the old stuff and make sure it's right. So a lot of these are looking to be new. Let's see if I can find an actual small one. I don't know. They're all pretty uh, extended out. Hmm. Are they that rare? <laughs> Probably not, but you may not find one. Maybe they're all going to be the other one. I'll have to just do a quick run through. I don't see any. I have another little bin here. This one here is one. This is definitely a smaller gap, you can tell. This one is extended out. And that one is not so much. Alright, first wormhole I've come down is the lightsabers. <laughs> I put the telescopes in with them, whatever you want to call them. And so I figure, might as well do this. I'm going to sort this in the new thing I made on my desk, or the new uh, stack-ons I put up there. I'm going to make, I'm going to organize the lightsabers with the blades, um, these hilts and these hilts, probably. That's what I'll do. And then, and then a bit of a mixed match of these colors, of these two. Thank you.